Hey, how's it going? It's Neil Parfit here. Welcome to video number 12 of getting started with the ER301 sound computer. So I was looking on the forum earlier today and a user was asking about longer envelopes. And the reason for that is if we insert an ADSR, you'll notice that currently our AD and release maximums are one second. So can we get anything longer than that? And the answer is yes. And we have to do a little bit of a cheat and I'll show you that right now. So I'm gonna to go to channel two because channel two isn't wired to an audio output and we don't need to hear this and I don't wanna send CV signals to my speakers. So I'm gonna go on channel two. I'm gonna insert an ADSR and my trigger source will be the keyboard, which is, it looks like it's A2. There it is, there's my gate, sign. And I'm gonna set the timings of these to one second. And I'll, I'm basically just turning the whole thing up. We'll just turn it up full, great. And if we scroll after this, if we look on our scope, there it is. As soon as I press the key, the gate triggers the ADSR, takes one second to reach full, it will sustain forever, and then as soon as I release, one second back down to zero. So now, if I switch to admin, let's go to the six track recorder. And what I'm gonna do is record this output number two. So here we go. I'm gonna hit record, triggered it, and I'm gonna let go. And there we go. Oops, we have a approximately eight second file with our envelope on it. So I'm gonna say save audio. I'm gonna go a new folder. Let's call this, um, what do we call it? Envelope 999, <laughs> just so I remember. Uh, I have a bunch of other folders called envelope as well. So envelope 999, I'm gonna hit enter. That's created the folder. And now I'm gonna hit enter one more time and it's gonna save that file within. So I'm gonna go back to our user area and let's go to channel one. Yeah, actually we don't need this ADSR anymore so I could just erase it if I want. Go to channel one. Let's insert a sine wave. We're just gonna create a really simple synth. We'll set our voltage per octave to um, I believe it's A1. Yep. So we have our pitch. And after that, let's insert a VCA. And we'll set our gain to one. Let's go within this VCA. And here's where things change. Usually here we'd say, Let's say I was using an external source to control this VCA. As an example, B3 is the modulation wheel on the Waldorf. You could do that. Or I could ping an, an ADSR that's sitting right here. But I don't want to do either of those things. I'm actually going to insert a sample player. And let's load up that audio file we just made. Because usually when you think of a sample player, you're, you're thinking of it as an audio source. You know, it might be some drum sounds, it might be a synth sounds, whatever. But in this case, we're gonna use it as our CV signal. So I'm gonna go assign sample. I'm gonna go load samples. And let me navigate on my card and find that file we just made. So I think it was envelope 999. There it is. There it is, env999 track one. And if I had recorded multiple signals, there'd be more files in this folder, but I only recorded one, so there's one file. So now I'm gonna hit enter. It's dropped it into the audio pool or the sample pool. And the pool, that's, if you can remember, the, any, any sample player or looper in the system can access the files in this pool. Um, in this case, we wanna add this file into that sample player I just made. So I'm gonna hit enter again. And now here it is. So now our CV signal that we made is in the sample player. So I'll bring it up to speed. And there it is. And if we go into the sample player, into the slice sample mode, 
we obviously, if we're using this as a an ADSR envelope or an AD envelope almost, we don't want this slack off the top. So let's insert a slice right at the beginning and right at the end of it. So let's see how that looks. Okay. And now, if we go to our trigger, let's set that to our gate on A2 from my keyboard here. And that should be it. So if we look at it, the moment I, re I hit this, this will re-trigger. And I'm still hearing a little bit of signal, which means this slice ended a bit too early. So it's holding a little bit above the zero voltage. So let's go into the sample player, slice sample, look at our slices. I'm gonna actually erase this slice here. So I'll delete and let's move a little bit further. Let's go there. Let's see how that runs. So I'll trigger again. There we go. Now we have a perfectly controlled VCA. So at this point, if I wanted to make a longer sample, or if I want to make a longer envelope, all I have to do is just slow down the speed. So if I set to half speed, listen to it now. Twice as long, right? Or if I set it to like 0.1, significantly longer. Um, alternately, oops, where'd I go? Um, alternately, if I speed this up, faster, right? And what we can do, because this is an audio file, is if we don't want it to drastically jump back to the start of the file, we can just add an envelope follower to after this audio file playback, so it's not a, a drastic jump. So if I set the release a little bit late or a little bit higher, it's not as jumpy. I could even adjust the attack as well. Um, another thing you can do is, let's say, okay, now that it's, it's this much slower, what happens if you just don't want that attack for whatever reason? If you set this shift, it actually offsets the start of the sample sliced. And that's how you can cheat the slow attack if you need a fast attack in the moment. And this is actually a controllable parameter from an external source. So I could have the mod wheel on this Waldorf controller if I wanted to. So if I up the mod wheel, it lowers the attack. So I could go, I want uh, B3, which is that mod wheel to control that. So and I think I just have to that. There we go. Let's do this. 
There we go. That's what I was looking for. So you might be asking now, well, that's great and all, but I don't want that long release. All I wanted was just a really slow attack. So technically, you could add another uh, VCA after this CV data. So insert and up the gain. And what we need to do, is we need to create, it's a little bit, it's sort of nested, but this is the only way I can think of to do this. So we need to trigger an ADSR in here and We'll leave the attack zero because we want the attack of our pre-existing stuff to come through immediately. We'll up the decay, we'll up the sustain. And there's our release. So now we can have like a really long attack and if we add this secondary VCA, we can have a release time that's still under, a controlled release time that's still under a second. If I up my mod wheel. And then if I lower my mod wheel again, and now it's using that file. There you go. So there you go. Uh, just an example of a workaround getting longer than one second attack and release times. Hopefully that's helpful. All right. Have a good one. Bye.